in the first five years of my career, I was fat, completely unhealthy, and very low energy. And then I made few important changes in my lifestyle that completely got my health back. But first, let me share a story about my friend John. My friend John was really, really fit. And I used to say, hey John, you must be going to the gym at least two, three hours a day. I know. To gym mein jaake baut workout karta hoga. I'm sure about that. And he used to say, Ari, no. Main sirf ek ghande gym mein jata ho. I only work out for one hour. And I used to not buy that. I never agreed with his thought. But then he told me a few secrets. He told me that he made small, small changes in his lifestyle that completely made a big impact. And what those small things were, like for him personally, whenever he had to go for his gym workout, one night prior, he used to keep all his gym clothes right next to his bed. And that basically gave him a reminder. He was, I have to go for my gym workout tomorrow. Okay. That was his motivation. So in such a way, he did these small, small things that helped him achieve his long-term goal. And this basically also changed my life. Also, I kept reading more about habits and I explored this book called Atomic Habits by James Clear. And that's why I understood wrong about people. A lot of my friends used to say the same thing. He was, I'm going to go to the gym, I'm going to get a weight, I'm going to get a muscle, muscle bada na hai. and they used to do a lot of work towards it. Okay, they used to run marathons or they used to go to gym regularly or should they used to do cycling, but they used to always come back to the same state. They used to again become fat or they used to again become really slim. Okay, basically coming back to your own problem. So what this book Atomic Habits helps is, it basically changed my life completely. Okay. So there are three important things what I learned from this book. Number one, shift your identity. Okay. What does it mean is whatever you want to become. Okay. You have to create your identity according to it. Okay. So if in case I want to become someone who knows very good mudgar practices, I have to create my identity around it. Meaning I have to understand about mudgar a lot. Okay, I have to buy more types of mudgar so that I know that what does each type of mudgar help in. Okay, I would also understand the spiritual part of it as to what, what we generally do when we start the practice. As well as I have to understand the history of it. So what were our ancient ancestors used to do when they were practicing mudgar, right? So I have to create an identity. Okay, an identity banani padegi so that I know that this is something which I have to work towards and this is my long-term goal. Number two, designing your environment. Yes, guys. So you remember John, right? Who used to keep his workout clothes right next to him when he used to go to sleep. So this is called designing your environment. Apne environment ko aisa banao ki aapka long-term goal uspe aur easy ho jai. So example, just as John basically kept his clothes right next to his bed, in such a way, you can also design your environment. Like if you want to lose fat, you can Design your kitchen in such a way that it helps with your longer goal. Like you can maybe not keep sugary items in your kitchen right in front of you. Maybe you can keep more healthy items right in front of you. So it is more easy and accessible to get that item. Okay. That is called designing your environment. The second thing is you can create a list of goals, writing it down on a paper. Okay. Then just take a photo of it and place it as your wallpaper. Okay. So whenever you open your phone, you will always see okay, this is my goal. This is something where I need to focus on. And your goal will always remind you what you need to do. Okay. And the third thing, what I learned is micro changes. Micro changes is basically making small, small changes so that it doesn't feel really tough. Okay. So if in case you want to lose weight, first of all, start by just walking for 10 minutes. Okay. Just make sure that you're walking every day for 10 minutes, be it it's a rainy season or it's very hot or it's very cold. Doesn't matter. First, make the habit of walking 10 minutes every day. And then you will have an own habit and your body will tell you ultimately that I need to go for a walk. Okay. And when that happens, then you can slowly increase your walk time by 20 minutes and so on. So this is the way you can create these small habit. This is the way I applied all these changes and many more in my mudgar practice as well as in my health. Okay, if you want to know about our Mudgar classes or if you would like to join our Mudgar classes, you can comment below in this video as well as you can contact us on Instagram, which is given in the description below. And guys, 
it's time to get back our ancestral set.